game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Zone. All right, folks. Here it's time now for a brand new series on my uh, channel. Here we're going to do some tic tac toe, and of course uh, we've seen Brandon host this on his channel, and he does a very good job at it. And uh, but now we we're going to see how well I do with it. And speaking of Brandon, he's our first player tonight. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, Brandon, you are of course the uh, head honcho here at MVG Productions. There I am. Yep, and uh, it's been going strong for a little over a year now, this uh, particular Discord server. And I must say, I think we've had a very good time with it so far. Uh, that's to say that we haven't had our growing pain. But, you know, we learn, we learn and we try to do better from it next time. That we do. And let's welcome your opponent tonight, Mr. Tim McClelland. Hey. All right, Tim uh, comes to us from the great state of Texas. Right. Yeah, and we understand that you just started uh, doing some pilots for Talk About. How's that going? Uh, slow but sure, but you know, like all new shows, kind of start slow, but then we'll, but with word of mouth and the word getting out to everybody, we may pick up. Hey, hey it just may be picked up here at MVG. Fingers crossed. Now we wish you the best of luck. Tim, are uh, you and Brandon ready to play? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now you guys know the rules of tit tat doe, but of course, uh, since this is our first episode, I do have to explain. The object of the game, of course, is to get three X's in a row across, up and down, or diagonally. And the first player to get three X's in a row, three X's or O's in a row, wins and goes on to play our bonus round for a chance to win some cool prizes, okay? So here are your categories for game number one of this episode of Tic Tac Toe. We have Currency, the $10,000 question, Europe, Chemistry, Disney, the bonus category, Baseball, Double or Nothing, and Canada. Now, of course, uh, the, for the $10,000 question, I ask a question, and if you're right, you get, then we add $10,000 to the pot. Double or Nothing, uh, you will have to... I think whoever picks that will then be asked a question. If they're right, they will then have to decide whether they want to uh, continue playing and try to earn another box, or stop and take what they have. And then, of course, for the uh, bonus category, uh, that one, I believe, is a three-part question, correct? Yes, it's a three-part question. Answer all three parts of the question correctly, you get another turn immediately. All right. Thank you very much to uh, Brandon for helping me out there. And, uh... Let's see, uh, we do not have a returning champion since this is our first game, so uh, Brandon, uh, so you ended up being the lucky one to draw the X position, so go ahead and take a category for me, please. Okay, okay let, let us start, start with, with Disney, Disney in the center, please. All right, Disney in the center. There it is. All right, now this, of course, is a two-part question since it's the uh, center box. Now, I just have to uh, find the uh, Disney questions here. All right. Well, while you're looking at the questions, I will inform you here as well. In this particular version of Mark's tic tac toe here, every question that's correct on the outside box will have $2,000 at the top. The center box will add an additional $3,000. Yeah, because remember, we're playing the uh, runner version here. All right. Uh, all right. Come on, Disney, where are you? I should have separated this beforehand. All right, there we go. I found the Disney uh, material. Here we go. All right, uh, this is your uh, here's your two part question, Brandon. Now your first now your first one. Which Disney cartoon character, known for wearing a sailor's hat and outfit? was once banned in Finland because he didn't wear pants. That's the first one. The second one is, what 2004 Disney film features the characters of Elastigirl and Iceman? Here's your extra time. Now, 
Now, of course, since this is the uh, center box, you have a choice of whether you want to answer the first part first or the second part first. Uh, the first part. All right. What Disney cartoon character, known for wearing a sailor's hat and outfit, was once banned in Finland because he didn't wear pants? That would be Donald Duck. And that's correct. And for the second part, what 2004 Disney film features the characters of Elastigirl and Iceman? Is that The Incredibles? That was The Incredibles. Very good. All right. So $3,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Tim, where do we go? All right, bonus category it is, and of course this is a three-part question. You must answer all three parts correctly in order to get the box, and of course if you're right, you get another turn, okay? Right. right. All right. Uh, let's see. Tim, I need you to tell me three of the ten provinces that make up Canada. Uh, there's uh, Saskatchewan. That's one. There's uh, British Columbia. That's two. And there's Alberta. That's three. You've got the box. Right. All right. All right. And you get another turn since you answered that correctly. Where do you want to go? Try baseball in the upper right. Yeah, why not try baseball? Makes perfect sense since we do have the baseball season coming up here. Let's go, Blue Jays. Oh, oh no. Let's go, Rangers. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, uh, the Rangers and the Jays have had a bit of a rivalry going ever since that... Uh, home run that Bautista hit in the 2015 playoffs, which Tim remembers all too well, don't you, sir? Uh, that's right. Uh, question, please? Oh, yes, here it is. Uh, the Boston Americans won the first World Series in 1903. What is the team known as today? Uh, repeat the question. The Boston Americans won the first World Series in 1903. What is the team known as today? Uh, I believe they have Boston Red Sox. And that's a correct answer. All right, and we shuffle. All right, Brandon, where do you want to go? Um, um, as much as I would like to answer a question on baseball, not my strongest suit. I'm not a fan. So instead, I'm going to go double or nothing. Double or nothing, okay. So, of course, you know what happens here. Uh, you have a chance to earn two boxes at once, and uh, here is your double or nothing question. All right, uh, here is the first double or nothing question for you, Brandon. What is the largest Western European country? Is it France, Spain, or Great Britain? I believe, I believe it's, it's France. France. And that is correct. Now, do you want to try for another box? Or do you want to stop and take the sure thing here? I will, I will play, play on, on. I, will I will go Disney for the win. All right. Ooh. So this will get you tic-tac-toe if you are correct on this question in Disney. Okay? All right. And here we go. All right, Brandon. What famous actress, known for the TV series Murder, She Wrote, played a witch during World War II in the Disney film Bedknobs and Broomsticks? That one more time. What famous actress, known mostly for the TV series Murder, She Wrote, played a witch during World War II in the Disney film Bedknobs and Broomsticks? Correct answer was Angela Lansbury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Tim, it's a break for you. Where do you want to go? I'm going to go currency for the win. All right, 
currency for the win. This will give you tic-tac-toe if you are correct. And here's your currency question. Tim, what's the largest U.S. bill currently in circulation? I believe that would be the 500. No, it's the $100 bill. It's the $100 bill. And that means we go back to Brandon. Okay, where do you want to go this time? I got, I got a refrain. I've got, I've got to go bonus category to the block, please. All right. Bonus category the block. All right. Now, let's see. Where is it? There it is. And, of course, if you get this bonus category correct, then you get another turn immediately. All right. Brandon, I need you to name one of the two European countries that used to use the lira as its currency. Um, the lira? The lira, yes. Mark? Yeah? I said, I said, is it Turkey? Oh, okay, I didn't hear you. But yes, Turkey is correct. Italy was the other one. All right, and we shuffled. And Brandon, a chance for you to win the game. All right, let's go chemistry for the win. All right, this will give you tic tac dough. And of course, if you're right, you'll play the bonus round for a chance to take on Fluffy. Or actually, no, wait, that's your tic tac toe. Uh, anyways. Uh, that dragon's always hiding some. Well, nonetheless, uh, Brandon, here is your chemistry question. H2O is the chemical symbol for what? That would be hydrogen dioxide, dioxide we barely know, know it, as water. water. That is tic tac toe. There you go, Brandon. All right. $11,000 for you, Brandon. And you'll play the bonus round in just a moment. Well, Tim, uh, you did pretty well with the questions. Did you have a good time with us? Oh, uh, it, was, it was great. All right. Well, we'll definitely have you back here. Brandon, let's go ahead and beat the dragon. Mark. Mark. Right, let's do it. All right. And let's see what we can win here in the bonus round. Alrighty, and there's our dragon. Let's find out what you can win here, shall we? A grandfather clock worth three thousand seventy-five dollars. Portable sound system. A dining group and dinnerware. We've got a graphic and some more dinnerware. A trip to Munich. A tic tac toe prize package for twenty-nine thousand six hundred fifty-seven dollars. All right. Find a ticket and attack, you get a $25,000 bonus and a chance in a new car, and we're going to shuffle. Alright, go ahead and pick a box. And that number is? Seven. Seven, alright. A thousand dollars. Of course, you can stop at any time. I'll go on, and then we'll go to number three. Number three. Three thousand. You're up to four grand now. Right, right. Number, number two, please. Five thousand. Wow. Still no tick or tack. Number six. Number six. Well, there's a tick. All right. This is pretty much your last choice either way. It's either the tack for the instant win or money for the instant win. <laughs> Dragon fail. So, number four. Alright, what do we have behind number four? 2,500, there's a winner. Where was our dragon hiding? Number nine. The tap was behind number eight. We have the prize package $41,157. Alright, and you had 11000 in the front game. So that's a total of $52,157. Alright, we'll come back with more tic-tac-toe in just a moment. <laughs> 